Hello and welcome to this video. Today in this short video we'll demonstrate just how to start with the very basics in WordPress Anywhere like uh, creating a project, uh, assigning translation memory and glossary, uploading a file and then downloading your uh, translated file. And we'll be doing this today in the new look of uh, WordFast Anywhere that will be published during uh, 2023. So if, it, if you're watching this video and it hasn't been released yet, well, there you go, that's a sneak peek for you. So here we are in, uh, in our project. So now in WordFast Anywhere, everything works by projects. You have your default project uh, that comes up. And uh, now if we want to do a new one, uh, we go and we have to be in the project tab. If we have an existing project, it needs to be closed. Uh, and so then we go to the project tab like we are here now and we click on a new we are going to name this tutorial for example and I'm going to keep that as a standard project we now need to add a language pair so besides language pair you have a plus sign so let's click on that and now we just need to type our languages so for this example i'm going to use english to french okay with no variant okay so straight english straight french okay, i'm going to click on add and now i'm going to have to assign the translation memory so i have one created here and a glossary and i do also have one created here so now i've selected both a glossary and translation memory and I'm going to save my selection. So I'm good to go. Now I can save my project. Project has been saved. Okay, so now I see this message. I can just click outside of it or press escape. And now I want to add a file. I want to add a file. So without any file selected, uh, the best way to do that is to use the button here at the top which is called add files to all languages so in case you have several languages that will add them to all of them but in our case we just have one language pair and that will add it to the current one so let's click on this and now we get our small dialogue okay I can see that the target language pair I've selected is all okay if there were more I could select more specifically now I, I can upload the file you browsing my, my computer or I can just uh, decide to drag and drop it. So here I have grabbed my file okay and I'm going to drag and drop it and I have to place it here in that section. Once it's here I see files to upload and I see this file in the list. I can drag and drop several files but I just uh, drag and drop the one at the moment and once I'm done selecting the files, I can click on Upload. Now, this is done, okay? So now I'm going to open my file to translate. I select it and I click on Open or I just double click. Okay, so when I select it, you see I mo we move from the project tab directly into the file tab because the file is selected. So I can decide to open it or just double click on it. Now I have double clicked on it. And now to start translating, just press Alt and the down arrow or click on Start Next. Okay, so here I am offered a translation by a translation memory. And uh, if I press Alt down again or click on Start Next, that uh, will be stored into my translation memory and I will be moving to the next segment, which is what's happened here. So if I want to go back to the previous segment, I can, doing that, I can do that by saving also the translation. So I go to Previous. And as we can see here, now my first segment here has been sent to my translation memory and it's been kept. Now, what if I want to add a term to my glossary? So what I can do is I can select my source term. So here that will be WordFast and my target term that will be WordFast. I want to add this uh, term into my glossary. 
going to, I'm going to click on the tab TMs and glossaries and I'm going to click on add term. Now, as I have selected both the source term and the target term, WordFast pre-filled for me the source field and the target field. So now I can click on save since I have nothing else to edit. Term added, so that worked correctly. Now let's move to the next segment again. So translation, next. And then let's go back to the previous segment again to see if the term in the glossary is recognized. Now I see that here on the left, my term WordFast is highlighted. And here on the right in my glossary tab, I have this entry WordFast. So if I was to type and I would start typing the W, immediately I would get a suggestion for WordFast. And then I can just click on enter and it pre-fills it. Now let's fast forward a little bit and say that this file is translated. Okay, so now that my file is fully translated, I want to download the translated document. So to do that, I just need to go to the file tab and I click on download. And here I get a list of options, but the option I want is translated document, which is here pre-selected. I can select different ways to download, but at the moment, I just want to download directly the file, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to click on download. Now, the file is being prepared and it will appear in my downloads. And as we see at the bottom, it appears just as any other uh, download. So now I can just go to get my file and send it to my customer. Once I'm done, I can close the file. And here I am back in my project view again. And that's it for this uh, very basic tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps. Bye for now. Thank you.